KFNN. Headline News Update. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman here on this 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this fourth Wednesday, the 4th of May, Fed Speak Day in another three uh, three hours. But it doesn't matter what I tell you what the Dow is doing right now. It's up 32 at 33,161. The S&P is down. Uh, where was it? Where did it go? S&P, why is that typing in the wrong place? S&P, there we go, is down 13 at uh, 41.62. It's where, where these markets are at 3 o'clock or later this afternoon. If the S&P is down 16 points or more, that's really negative action. If it's come back and it's actually up about 12 or, or, or more than that, that's going to be a nice response to the Fed. It's the response. I don't care what the Fed says. I do care about the market response. And the Dow uh, needs to be not up 36 right now. If it's down 120 or more, that's really not action, action you want to see. If you're positive on the Dow, even short term, you want to see up at, at uh, um, about 120 or more points. The QQQ, this is going to be really important because they are really pulling back sharply. Yeah, it's down 389 at 314.94. You want to see a comeback. It doesn't have to close positive, but it needs to come back to at least just a minus one or better than that. Definitely not accelerate lower. Uh, and the, the, the bonds have actually done the markets. They've done the Fed's work mostly. Look, bonds are... The TLT is down again near the lows. Uh, the yields are going higher. All the Fed has to do is for, just acknowledge it, check it off and say, this is what's going on. And now we're going to do our 50, whatever it is, whatever they want to do, they can do. But bonds have really done it for them. And you're looking at crude oil holding very well. It's up four at uh, 106. If it goes above 112 in the next few days, that's going to be a market uh, negative. But also the other thing that we're looking at is the volatility index. Let's just look at the volatility index and say, before you go over to Larry Pesavento and great, great programming here, yeah, don't forget we started nine with uh, uh, Tommy Jr. Uh, looking at the, uh, the markets through the market kickoff and does it on a fundamental and technical basis. Look at this. The VIX index made a double top 37. 52, 8th of March, 2nd of May, it goes to 36.54. And that's after the terrible news that we had with Ukraine, etc. So it's up, it was near the highs. Now it's pulling back to 29.10. If this afternoon the VIX index spirals into the 30.80 or higher area uh, after the Fed speak, that's a negative. If it starts to pull back, all of a sudden there's a 28.60, then 28.30. That's at least the first time we can see some decent a rally attempt in the market. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Check out my opening call date. Please hear that. Stay tuned. Uh, Larry Pizzamento coming by. Right.